we are back in the craft room and last night I made these two cones and I showed you how to make it and while I was laying in bed I was thinking how can I make a bigger cone and really get the biggest cone that I can out of um, poster board. So that's what I'm going to show you today. Now basically you're going to do the same thing however what you're going to do is because the longest piece that we can get out would be the shorter width of the paper. So that's going to be the height of it. But how are we going to make the arc to do that? Well, like we kind of went over yesterday, um, you need a string and you don't really need a full half circle. So we're going to do a quarter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold it right on the edge of the paper here. You could tape it down if you want, but that might throw off your string just a little bit. And I want it tight so that the pencil, which is here at the very tip, stays tight, okay? So that will give us a good arc. So all you're going to do is you're going to come around and you want to hold your pencil very straight. And now you have your quarter circle. But all you're going to do then is cut it out. Okay, now we have a really big piece to make a comb. And we still have some scrap pieces where you can make, uh, you know, a bunch of little cones as well. I have my hot glue at the ready. Just kind of give it a test and see. Start rolling it together. And I think that's going to be a really nice big tree. So I'm going to even out the bottom. And then I'm going to twist the top. And then I'm going to just put my hot glue in place. I'll start at the bottom just to kind of get it started to tack it while I hold everything else in place. And as much as I'd like to get this perfect, I never do. But I decorate it so it never matters either. So do the top. And if the top, if you didn't get the top quite perfect like I didn't, then you just want to be careful because it is hot. Um, twist it around. And you could take this as well because if you're covering it, nobody will ever see it. So here's your very tall cone. And here's a couple of shorter ones. So in the next couple of videos, I'll be decorating them and for the holidays. And we'll see what I come up with. I hope you guys give these big cones a try and the little ones and just think of what the cost would be for a big cone like this out of styrofoam. And even if you even if you look under a lot of the ornaments or like the big angels, this is usually what the base is. So you could make a big angel or all kinds of things off of off of this base. So I hope you give it a try. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. I hope it was helpful. Happy crafting, and we'll see you next time. Thanks.